This is Guyana's second hosting of the Sustainable Tourism Conference, the first being in the year 2000. And this, the CTO Chairman and St. Kitts Tourism Minister Richard Scarrett says is a strong indication of Guyana's commitment to protecting and sustainably using its natural resources. He notes too that despite global economic influences, Guyana continues to lead by example. Guyana has been convinced that it ought not to be forced to choose between short-term development priorities and climate change. Even with the scary storm clouds of recession still hovering in our region and the loud insistent calls, including from the IMF and other good friends, that we must get our economic houses in order quickly, the Guyana government still chose to protect virtually its entire 40, millions, 40 million acres of rainforest. Mr. Skerritt says it is vital that the Caribbean become dedicated to tourism practices that maximize benefits for all stakeholders. Similarly, Acting Tourism Minister Irfan Ali says while in the Caribbean tourism is too big to fail, there is a need for an integrated market plan that balances economic development with global environmental prudence. I agree with the argument that some of our tourism sectors are more developed than others. And, have the, and this has the potential to create unevenness in resource allocation. But the very essence of integration is to recognize this fact and yet persevere to a commitment of long-term benefits. Minister Ali notes that Guyana's strategic location in South America brings a gateway to new markets on the continent. He adds that government has been working to ensure food security, not only for Guyana but for the region, promoting the concept of bi-regional, eat regional, live regional. Participants of the 13th Sustainable Tourism Conference include members from regional and global tourism-based organizations and some 140 persons from regional and international media. The STC 13 continues until April 18 under the theme Keeping the Right Balance Sustaining Our Resources.